Policy Studio also includes a visual mapper tool that simplifies transforming data from one format to another. A common use case is to combine XML data from multiple web services and publish it as a RESTful JSON API. The visual mapper includes a data map and an engine for designing and executing the transformation of input data to output data. In this example, our goal is to combine three input XML data and transform it into an output JSON data. We will begin by configuring the data map for an XML to JSON transformation. Choose XML for the type of the source schema, then load the schemas from the file system. Customer schema represents a customer information. Checking schema represents the different types of checking accounts available. Bank branches schema represents the different bank locations. Next, choose JSON for the target schema type and load the JSON schema, which represents the combined structure of the source schemas. Using the data map editor, we can just click and drag a source field to a target output field. We'll start with the customer schema. By default, auto map is enabled, so the fields underneath the parent node customer are automatically mapped. The source fields, ID customer, last name, first name, and so on, are mapped to its respective fields in the target schema. Next, Map the checking accounts schema. Then map the bank branches schema. That's it. Our mapping is done and ready for testing. In the run view, load the input XML data for each source schema. Customer data contains a customer's profile information. Checking accounts data contains three different types of checking accounts. Bank branch data contains four different bank locations. Some are in Arizona and some are in California. Now, run the transformation. As expected, the result is a combination of all the input data in JSON format. What if we want to transform only the bank branches that are available within the customer's location? We can configure the data map to apply a condition when it executes the data transformation. So let's go back to the design view and add a condition to transform only the bank branches based on the customer's location. Right click on the link between the branch fields, then select the if function. Now set the condition to transform only the branch data that has the same state field value as the customer's data. In the run view, rerun the transformation. As expected, the branch segment of the output data only shows the bank branches that are based in Arizona. To recap, the Visual Mapper's drag and drop mapping interface can easily be used by non technical users. Click and drag a source field onto a target field and the mapping is done. If there's a need to apply additional rules on the map, then use the built-in functions. Then to validate the map, you can easily preview the results with sample test data.